Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia, and today the NRL have released the 2021 NRL draw. I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on it, and um, yeah, we'll talk about the draw and some of the games that they've um, got scheduled for next year and some of the big games like Magic Round, which is going to be absolutely fantastic, which I'll be attending. Um, you know, the, the Easter Round, I guess you could say. Um, Anzac Day and, and all that so we'll get into that but before I get into the video I just want to say if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do we're getting very close to 1,000 subscribers so it'd be much appreciated if you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I appreciate everyone who's taken the time out of their day or night to watch my videos much appreciated all right so obviously yesterday I did a video on the NRL draw for round one and I was in particular in uh, particularly impressed with the draw and round one, I think round one's very lackluster. But you know, we'll go through the draw, some of the 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 uh, games through the season, some of the key matchups. I'm not going to go through every team's draw because, like, I'll be here till fucking midnight. But you know, round two's got some pretty good games. You know, you got Parramatta up against Melbourne. That, that's always a fiery clash. Gold Coast Brisbane up at the Gold Coast. You know. You know, I think round two's got a bit of potential. It's, it's, it's a little bit better than round one, but not by a whole lot. And then, you know, round three, you got the grand final rematch between Penrith and Melbourne on the Thursday night. Souths and Roosters on the Friday night. The biggest rivalry in rugby league right there. Souths and Roosters, I think that'll be fantastic. Um, Queensland Derby, Cowboys and the Gold Coast on a Sunday night. Good luck getting a crowd for that. That's ridiculous. I have that on a Sunday night. And then in round four... We've got um, the Easter weekend. You know, obviously you got the Good Friday game between Canterbury and South Sydney, and then you got Melbourne and Brisbane on, on the, as the other game on the Friday night, and then you got the Sharks taking on the Cowboys up at the, up at the Sunshine Coast, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. And then you obviously got the Easter Monday game between the West Tigers and the Parramatta Eels. So, a couple of really good games to look forward to in round four. There, round five. Um, you know, Bulldogs playing the Storm at, I think it's Coffs Harbour, not 100% sure, they're playing the Bulldogs, Bulldogs are playing the Storm somewhere, the Tigers versus the Cowboys at Leichhardt, the Cowboys haven't won at Leichhardt since, since the year 2000, Todd Payton returns to Leichhardt Oval to, um, you know, go, go up, coach up against the team that he won a premiership for back in 2005, so that'll be interesting to see how that goes. And then round six, um, we got the Storm and the Roosters, two heavyweight premiership contenders every year. So, you, you know, that'll be a big game. Canberra versus Parramatta in Canberra. Parramatta haven't won in Canberra for about 15, 16 years. So that'll be interesting if Parramatta can break the hoodoo down there. Um, you know, round six doesn't look too bad either. And round seven, um, Parramatta playing Brisbane up at Darwin. This is the Anzac round. Last year, they meant to have Parramatta versus Brisbane, but obviously because of COVID, they fucked the draw. You know, Parramatta versus Brisbane up in Darwin, that'll be interesting. Uh, the Cowboys versus the Raiders up at Townsville, they get to host the game um, towards Anzac Day. And in Anzac Day, you've got three games this year. Tigers and Seagulls at 145 at Bankwest. The traditional Roosters and Dragons, two, two old rivals going at it there, which is a great, fantastic Fantastic game every year, the Anzac game. And then we got the Storm and the Warriors on the Sunday night as well. And then round eight, you know, two heavyweight sides in Canberra and Souths. Two great sides right there. Broncos and the Gold Coast in a um, Queensland derby. Panthers go to Bathurst to play against the Manly Seagulls. Bulldogs and Eels, one of the biggest rivalries in rugby league. And then the Warriors and the Cowboys on the Sunday. Todd Payton going back to New Zealand to take on the Warriors, you know, coaching against the team that he coached last year. So that's going to be a big thing. Round eight's a pretty big round. It's probably the best round I've seen so far going through the going through the draw. And then round nine, Souths against Melbourne. The season opener also will be on again in round nine. Parramatta versus the Sydney Roosters. Two great sides for the last couple of years. Can Michael Silva knock out James Tedesco again? We'll see what happens. Canberra versus Newcastle at McDonald's Park. I don't know idea where the fuck that is, but I'm excited because they've been in the bush somewhere. Cowboys and Broncos, the, the Queensland Derby, 
one of the biggest rivalries in rugby league on a Saturday night in Townsville. I don't know about that. Should be a Friday night, in my opinion. So, round, round nine looks pretty good as well. And in round 10, Magic Round. I can't wait to go to this. Magic Round is going to be absolutely fantastic. I will attend every single game at Magic Round. I will be there. I promise I will be there. I cannot wait. And then some of the games for Magic Round, you know, on the Friday night at 6 o'clock, Tigers in Newcastle, Manly in Brisbane. That's the Friday night fixture for Magic Round at Suncorp Stadium. Then on the Saturday, Canterbury versus Canberra, Cronulla versus South Sydney, the Roosters versus the Cowboys. Can't wait for that. And then on the Sunday, the Warriors and the Eels, Storm and the Dragons, and the Gold Coast and Penrith. Magic Round's looking absolutely fantastic. I can't wait for round 10. I'll be there. And um, round 11, we get a, a, another rivalry, Cronulla versus St. George. Another fantastic match up there. The Raiders up against the Storm, two, two big sides. Souths against Penrith at Apex Oval. I'm guessing that's in the bush somewhere. And then Parramatta versus Manly, another rivalry game. Fantastic. And then round 12, which is pretty much the middle of the season. You know, you get a couple of really good games here. Souths up against Parramatta. You know, Roosters and Raiders. You know, not a bad round there for round 12. And then round 13, this is the shorter round because of State of Origin. You know, not many really big games in round um, in round 13. Not many big games there at all. Not much to talk about there. And then round 14, you know, we get... Um, what do we get in round 14? We get the we get the uh, the Queen's birthday game, the Bulldogs up against the Dragons, which has been a ongoing thing for the last couple of years. So that'll be fantastic to see. And then round fifteen, Broncos and Rabbitohs up at Suncorp Stadium. I went to that a couple of years ago. It was absolutely fantastic. Panthers and Roosters at Panthers Stadium. Roosters Roosters will want payback from the qualifying final this year. I have no doubt. Parramatta versus the Canterbury Bulldogs, one of the biggest rivalries in rugby league. So that'll be fantastic. And in round 16, at the SCG, Roosters and Melbourne, another fantastic game. Penrith against Parramatta, the Western Derby. Um, you know, there's some fantastic games there in round 16. Round 17, what do we get round 17? Another old rivalry, Canterbury versus Sydney. You know, there's some really good games. Well, Canterbury versus Sydney is in the in the round where um, a, a lot of teams get the bye and it's origin round, so that'll be interesting to see how that goes about. And then um, round 18, the um, not many big games around 18. I guess you could say Melbourne and Newcastle. If Newcastle go well again, that could be a good game. Um, so round 19, round 19 has got some pretty good ones. Parramatta versus Canberra at Bank West on the Thursday night. That will be absolutely fantastic. You know, um, what else we got here? Cowboys and the Storm. We'll probably get beaten in that one, I've no doubt. We'll never beat Melbourne Storm. And then round 20. Uh, Roosters and Eels, that'll be, that'll be a good game to go to. Broncos and Cowboys up at Suncorp Stadium on a Friday night. I will definitely be there for that one. St. George versus South Sydney, another old rivalry, which will be fantastic on a Sunday afternoon at Wynn Stadium. Grand final rematch, Melbourne versus Penrith, another fantastic game right there. Cronulla versus Manly, the, um, another, another rivalry right there. And then round 21, what do we have for round 21? Roosters and Penrith. Another Manly and Melbourne, old rivals. The Gold Coast and the Cowboys up at the Gold Coast. I'll definitely be at that one, I can tell you that much. It's only an hour from me, the Gold Coast. Round 22, Melbourne, Canberra, another big game. You know, what else we got here? Manly versus Parramatta, two old rivals. Um, some big games. Round 23, what do we got round 23? Got the Gold Coast on a Thursday night against Melbourne. You don't see that very often. Penrith against South. South will want payback. From the preliminary final, I have no doubt. Parramatta versus the Cowboys, so me versus Entertain House and Rugby League history, that'll be fantastic. On a Saturday night at Bankless, I might have to go down to that one. And then also on a Saturday, Tigers and Sharks at Tamworth at Scully Park. Dragons, Roosters, another old rivalry. Some fantastic games here, guys, I'll tell you right now. The draw's not too bad this year. A couple of dud rounds, but it's, it's looking all right. And then round 24, second last round of the season. Sydney Roosters and South Sydney Rabbitohs, an old rivalry. Dragons and Cowboys, me versus my dad. That'll be absolutely fantastic. Melbourne versus Parramatta. So basically, Melbourne Storm up against Rugby League history. Luther King, they all hate Melbourne. So that'll be absolutely fantastic down there in Melbourne. 
And then in the final round, we got some massive games in the final round. Huge games. Canberra versus Sydney at Canberra. You know, Cronulla versus Melbourne. Parramatta versus Penrith. What else we got here? Souths against the Dragons. I mean, overall, there are some really good rounds, guys. I think they did an all right job with the NRL draw. I think a couple teams were a little bit hard done by. I think Parramatta were a little bit fucked over with the draw. They've got some pretty tough games. I think the teams that got probably the best best draw, probably the Cowboys and the Knights, I think they got a really good run with the fixture this year. But as you know, every year we talk about the teams get the best fixture and they don't go so well in, in the season. It just, you know, it depends how the team goes. You can't be going, oh yeah, we got the best fixture. No, 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 we got the worst fixture. You don't really know what's going to happen in 2021. There's a long way to the season. It's November 20, was it November 26? There's a long way until fucking March. So anything could happen. But also, you know, I'm going to do a separate video on the Cowboys draw, my thoughts on it. But I was just looking here on NRL.com. I was watching the uh, video with Zach Bailey and Brett Kamali taking a look at the Cowboys draw. From what it says here that the Cowboys played nine of their first 12 games in Queensland. Now, that's a really, really good advantage. Now, I think that's one of the best advantages you could have. To, to play 9 out of 12 games, which is pretty much half of the first half of the season, play 9 of those games in Queensland is a pretty good advantage for the Cowboys. So, the pressure's on the Cowboys to do well. Yeah, you know, like you got some other fantastic games. Like, obviously, Magic Round's going to be fantastic. And Zach Day's got three games this year. You know, the, Easter, uh, the Good Friday... The Easter weekend, um, Indigenous round, Women in League round. There are so many fantastic rounds. I hope I hope Retro round comes back again uh, next year because I think Retro round is absolutely fantastic. You know, overall, I've got some pretty good um, fixtures for 2021. But um, let, me, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What game or what round are you looking forward to the most? There are some really good rounds next year, I think, if... Teams go well. It's going to be interesting to see how it all, all how it all plans out. But anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. If I had to give the rating, if I had to give the draw a rating out of ten, I'd probably give it a solid six point five out of ten. I think it's quite decent, and I think I did okay with it. But I'm still not happy about the round one fixture. But anyway, guys, I'm out of here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm getting out of here. Have a fantastic Thursday afternoon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Go the Cowboys.